Yeah, welcome back. It's your boy, Gat Cognac, back with another video. So, I got a homie that sends me like a bunch of deals on GameStop and stuff like that. So, he kind of keeps me updated. And I just pick and pull what I want. So, they had a couple sales I've been eyeballing lately because um, GameStop, every once in a while, they drop the PS5 games down to the price I want. And a couple other games are cool. So, I pick them up. All right, it's not a crazy thing, but I'm just going to get this out of the way. I think there's one more game coming in, but I'll cut that in. So, all right, you guys, enjoy. All right, first off, I got this big old box, a little big old bag right here with GameStop shit in there. So we're gonna yank all this stuff out. Oh, let's see what I picked up. Uh, I went in there and traded in like some controllers and stuff like that. So I had some store credit, had to use my five dollars. Um, also, they also had um, had to pre-order some shit and then renew my damn subscription because you know, those five dollars a month, man, they pay for itself, so why not? All right, this is gonna be a kind of a weird pickup because it's like me buying the games again. <laughs> so, if y'all watched my last GameStop pickup video from the holidays, I picked up this game. Is it wrong to pick up girls uh, in a dungeon? So that one didn't come with a freaking case. So I got one, so I still kept it because during that time, this game is a $40 game right here. But during that time, they were doing like a crazy ass, you know, buy to get one 50% off or something like that. So I ended up getting this for like half off. So that's why I kept it. So what I do is since they had a full one in, at my store, you know, complete in box and all. So what I'll do is I'm just going to return this. So technically, I don't know if this counts as a pickup or not, but I got it full now. So it's a completion pickup. So I'm going to return that real quick. Which I got a couple days to do, that's why I'm putting out this video. Um, and then I got another one. Remember last time I bought all them Yakuza games? Well, I saw this sitting at the store. So that's pretty cool because this one's actually the Essence of Art edition. So I don't know how to get this. Oh, let's go. So it has a cover to it. So it's better than I expected because I this is like, you know, better than the regular case. Because this one comes with the art book and all that. Um, I don't know, I haven't even looked at it yet, so you guys get to see it before me. But yeah, so you know, a couple of art up in there, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and the game. So, I was never able to find the case until now, so kind of things just come all at once to me. It's kind of funny. But, um, bam. So, I do have two copies, which I'm going to return this one as well. So, I'm drop that off, put that right there. And we'll move on to the next. So pretty cool, man. Alright. And after that, I saw Raiden 5 right here. I think it was for $24.99 or something like that. Um, this one is actually like a Korean copy. So if you look on the, the label right here, it's in Korean, even in the back. So like I kind of like to pick up these obscure versions of the games, even though they both, you know, they all play on the same console, uh, region free. But I picked it up because like you don't really see that around. I was kind of looking it up on eBay like I don't want to see anyone selling this like that. So I think I think this might be a, a rare Korean game. <laughs> so I just got it, man. Just for the fuck of it. So that's what I got. And I know these don't count as video games, but I'm gonna show them anyways. Cause every once in a while I do pick up some Funko Pops and all that shit. So I had pre-ordered these a while back and they finally came in. It's crazy because like Hot Topic and all of them, they got it already and I'm the last one to get it at GameStop. So I like that Demon Slayer stuff. So like, you know, if y'all watch the anime, I got the a couple of the figures already. So right here I have um, Zenitsu. You know, that's the guy that be falling asleep all the time. And when he's falling asleep, he's hella strong. So I got that. I'm trying to collect some of those... Uh, I kind of quit collecting Funko Pops, but like, you know, when they're like hella good, I make it an exception. Then I got uh, Inosuke. Y'all already know. 
just the beast breathing dude. So he's pretty cool. Got that guy. If you haven't watched Demon Slayer, it's on Netflix, man. Y'all need to watch that. It's hella cool. And one of my favorites, Nezuko, who's the main character's sister. That one's pretty cool. Yep. She's like a demon. But she's like hella strong. And then the main character right here, Tanjiro. So I got that. So I got four Funko Pops. Picked those up. It's been a minute. I'm surprised they saved it for me because when I was out of town, that's when they called me. I was like, oh, we got him. And usually they only save it for a couple of days, but the dude over there at that store, he's hella cool. So like he ended up, you know, holding it up for me for like a couple weeks, man. Crazy. Um, so after that, those are the pickups I got from the store. So these will be the uh, GameStop pickups I ordered online, which the homie recommended. So I got, I already opened up the box for the sake of time. So let's see. Got my reference sheet right here. So let's see what I got. Now I'm already gonna be disappointed because I already see a fuck ton of games that don't got no freaking uh, case to it. So I'm gonna show those first. So the first one, homie told me to pick this up. It was like a punchline, man. That game's like $20 and it looked pretty interesting. Um, let me show you. Right there. Cause it kind of the story is like you play as these ghosts and you're supposed to like haunt these girls or something like that. I don't know. But it's like an anime game. So I wanted it, but no case, so that's going back. Next one is uh, Psycho Pass. I kind of was eyeballing this game. This game was hella cheap. I think it was only like, what, $12? No, $16.99? Or $12.99? $12.99. So I was like, hell yeah. But NIS America game, no case. It's going back. I don't know. Unless I somehow run into that shit which I doubt because some of these games they kind of came out for a while so I don't think I'll run into those and then another one another NIS America game man and it dropped down to like hella cheap so it was Penny Punching Princess I don't know if you guys see that or not but that was for $16.99 nope even my boy you know he could even get this so that's going back so that's three right there man but Honestly, the games that I really wanted were the PS5 games because I'm still trying to beef up my PS5 collection. So, the homie Easy Gamer has been trying to tell me like, hey, get this Corvus game when it comes out. Or I guess when it gets cheap. So this game actually dropped down hella cheap to like $18.99. This is a used copy. So I got it. I think it was like, kind of like an airplane shooter game or something like that. But he said it's hella fun. So I've been eyeballing this game for a while. I'm glad to get this because this game was like $30 something dollars or something like that for a while. So. That's coming with me. And another game was Metro Exodus. I finally seen this drop down to 20 bucks. I know I could have got these like cheap on the other consoles and stuff like that, but since this is like the enhanced edition and it has all the DLCs and all that good shit, um, I got the Metro Exodus complete edition for $20. So I've been waiting. I've been wanting to play this hella bad because I don't know. It's kind of like a, a Fallout type of game. So I like the Fallout games, man. Um, and then a Medium's another game that I got, um, it's like kind of a horror game. So I've been eyeballing this for a good ass minute too. This is like for 40 bucks forever. They dropped it down last week for for like $20. So I hella got that shit. Um, man, like yeah, this was $40 for the longest and I think now it just jumped back up to 30. So that was a good time to get this, so medium. Got that shit, man. So I got a couple other games. Uh, shit. Look at that, disappointed again. I've been wanting this Exist Archive game forever and I, I was like sure that this was gonna come complete but it didn't, so I might just hang on to this one, I don't know, um, until the, I see a case, but it's cheap enough. Like this, like, if you like Star Ocean, this is the game to play because this is made by the same uh, creators of Star Ocean. So I don't know, I just wanna play this game, man. I know it's on for Vita as well too, but you know, I wanna play on the big screen. Um, so eventually, uh, it's cheap enough where I can secure a copy, but no case, it's got to go back, man. Alright, this game right here is the game I've been waiting for to drop. Unfortunately, this is fake sealed, but fuck it, I don't care. Uh, Aragami 2. So Aragami 2 dropped down to like $22. I don't think it jumped back up already, but I had to get that. This was at $40 for the longest. I still need to get the PS4, the first version. But it's like a ninja game. 
So you know me and Ninja Games, man. So this dropped down to my range. I bought that shit. It's cool. I wish it was not fake sealed, but you know what? Fuck it. Can't complain. Cheap enough. So I think this game, like, probably go back up in the future, so it's a good price. And then after that, another game, another NIS America game that I had in my shopping cart forever was um, Void, I don't know, Void Terrarium. So this game actually dropped down to like $12.99, I believe, or $13.99. And the cool thing about this game is um, it's got the soundtrack and all that. So, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a new game or no. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a new game. I think it's supposed to oh, it's pretty old. So yeah, I got that. It's an NIS America game. It's been out for a minute. It's out for different multiple consoles, but I wanted it for PS5 because, like I said, I'm beefing up my PS5. So I am waiting for like one more game to come in. So I'm going to just cut that in. But anyways, I'm going to cut that to the end. All right, I finally got the packages in. We're gonna open that shit up, man. Let me show you guys what I got. Oh, this is brand spanking new. What game is this? Oh yeah, I know what this is. So I got this from, uh, I got the Ikai game, Target. I'm not on my regular camera, so I'm just using my webcam, but y'all can see that. I'm trying to get that Ikai game because it kind of reminds me of Kuon, and y'all know I like my uh, horror games and all that stuff. So I got that, $34.99, but I had like $40 in credit, or well not credit, but gift cards from, you know, Target. You already know what I do. I buy like laundry detergent and all that stuff, and they give you the five dollars gift card, so I stack that up, and then, you know, buy games with it. You already know, I told y'all that a couple years ago. Anyways, last but not least, which has already pissed me off because shit don't got no freaking cover. So I'm a fucking have to... I don't know, I might not return this one. Um, this one like $16.99. Here we go. Got this game. Will a Wonderful World. If y'all can see that. Um, it's supposed to be another like visual novel type of game. So, yeah. But no case, man. So I might have to return that shit too. Hella annoying, dude. That's the most fucking um, no case games I've got. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna cut back into the end video. Yeah. All right, little short pickup from GameStop. You know, hope you guys enjoyed. And you know, I don't know when's the next time I'm gonna buy any more games, man. I keep saying that, but you know, I, unless I go on some more vacation and whatnot, you know, unless they have some good deals. I don't really do pickups outside, you know, of just GameStop and stores and retail now. Anyways, this is your boy, Yak Cognac, signing out. I know I've been on a hiatus for a minute, but I'm trying to come back a little bit harder, make some more videos. So, to my viewers, appreciate y'all watching. We will see you the next time. Yeah.